origin goes. Come on. What's going on, guys? It's Dichronic here. Today I'm going to be doing my first uh, walkthrough of, of uh, Call of Duty game, I believe. It's going to be Call of Duty Ghosts today, if you haven't noticed already in the title. And Ladies of Call of Duty, I'm going to be doing a veteran walkthrough for this one. Um, uh, I'm going to be... Uh, so this is how it's going to work. I'm going to do the mission beforehand on regular or whatever. <coughs> get used to it and uh, figure out how to do on veteran. So when I go through on veteran, it's going to be really easy peasy. Usually I just go on veteran from the beginning. Uh, but for a, a, as this goes, it's a lot better for a guy for you to know what you're doing before you do it. And... Uh, uh, this is also gonna be a bit of a let's play. I'm gonna try to do all my reactions and my, my good moments I'm gonna be in the moment and it's all gonna be good fun for good times and uh, I hope you guys enjoy let me know what you kind of want me to see uh, you want to see me do I plan on doing collectibles But as of right now, I don't have any information of where the collectibles are and I haven't really looked but uh, you know me guys when I like to do tutorials I like to do very very in-depth tutorials where I show you exactly when where a good angle uh, so you guys don't get confused at all and uh, I like to get the when I do tutorials I like to make them just perfect so that uh, uh, everybody can be happy I'm not the guy that kind of kind of does them first and is just like hey oh yeah okay, I'm doing the Easter egg but it's like a 20 minute long video and and uh, it's kind of jumbled up, and I don't want to fucking talk about <laughs> NGT. I'm just kidding. <laughs> fucking uh, n never watch NGT. He just rambles all the time in his tutorials. But anyways, the story of this ghost is um, these. Uh, the intro cutscene that I'm cutting out is uh, these entire like army just slaughtered by uh, really really good soldiers called ghosts or something, and uh, they were uh, so supernaturally good that they uh, one guy who survived would call them ghosts. As he, uh, and uh, that's all I really know. And uh, right now, the Earth is falling apart because of the next part that's coming up. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but it makes no sense at all. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know who the main characters are. I don't know if we're gonna be switching between like ten different people again. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of flashbacks. Uh, that's that's definitely a thing. Um, but yeah, that, uh, oh, yeah, we're in space, mostly, you know what I thought the first time, <laughs> Dayless, ooh, um, I totally thought when I, I started watching, this is my first reaction, before I knew it was gonna happen, so, I, that's not a spoiler, I'm like, oh, mostly, it's a girl, she's totally gonna die, <laughs> I'm not saying that's ha what happens, but that was me and Jerry's first reaction. Oh, you can sprint? Can you? Oh, dude, you can sprint! Yes! Okay, clicking in the thumbstick. Just keep clicking the thumbstick and you can sprint here. Did not know that. Uh, friendly, t friendly, helpful tip. Uh, that is awesome. Come on, Mosley. Yeah, it's a girl. It's a girl. I was just like, <gasps> it's a girl. She's totally gonna die. <laughs> you, you know, it, it's, it has to happen. That feels uh, unnecessary to have these wires. Look at this! This is like fucking Slenderman in here. Or like the KKK with round fucking helmets, you know? I mean, what is this? Th those things better be empty, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> and then here, I got to this part, I'm just like... What? What? How does this even happen? There's like enemies on a ship with... It's a different colored suit. But not by a lot, actually. You think it's brown, it's easy to tell, but it's really, it's not. <laughs> oh, and guess what? Mosley gets ahead of you, because she's supposed to do something on her own. Oh, and this, you have to hold right on the, uh, right analog stick to shoot him. It doesn't tell you until you're about to die. Helpful tip right there on veteran. Um, and then there's going to be a few enemies here. You're, uh, this is a tar with a burst fire. Tar is a lot of fun. Just because I remember it from the last CODs. I don't know how it is in multiplayer. I'm not really a multiplayer guy, so I'll be doing a lot of these. Shoot them as soon as you see them. You want to be very quick on the draw. And uh, once you get these three people, you can then pick up your gun. I made that mistake, like, not even <laughs> 30 seconds ago. Um, you can pick up this thing. It has a muzzle break. Muzzle breaks are very are new to the Call of Duty. Uh, I know they have been in there before, but like for the most part, muzzle brakes are 
a weird attachment for me anyways. And here's where the epidemic comes in. <clears throat> the epidemic. The, uh, this is where everything goes to shit. This thing is firing like laser wars. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the size of that crater. And we're all the way out here. Holy crap. It's huge. I remember when I was watching a T Martin video, it was just like, that was a crater where a city used to be. And I'm just like, dude, you're not allowed. To oh shit. Not about this. <laughs> I like how it's like, explosion, implosion. <laughs> it's like pulling us out, like, oh wait, yeah, there was air. Yeah, there was those guys without the suit. Go, no, Mosley! Hold on! Uh, sorry about my schniffles, guys. It's uh, just kind of a reaction from uh, being up for too long. Uh, I got this at the midnight relaunch, and uh, I'm not totally sure if you have to shoot these guys, but better safe than sorry, huh? Uh, I don't think they fired back, though. So that's good. Yeah, make sure you sprint across this. Because uh, I... I um, I did not do that the first time. Now I'm realizing it actually helps. You can hear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Entertains me. What is that? Nido. Oh, wait. Oh, it did. <laughs> I totally knew what that said, and I never. I, I just messed that up. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so here, you're gonna have to come over here, uh, hold X to uh, open this object here. And uh, you're gonna pull down the lever automatically, and then you're gonna start holding on to this object and blowing it up to destroy this satellite thing so that um, you can stop it from destroying everything. And that's the shtick, really. And Mosley, don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. <sighs> no! Mosley, no! <laughs> no, there's blood coming out of her suit. Somebody get a band-aid. Somebody get a band-aid. <laughs> no, I totally called that. Mostly, totally called her dying. It's a girl. She's totally gonna die. <laughs> of course, we fall out of the sky. It's just like Call of Duty these days to have us actually have many of your characters actually die in the campaign. I think that's very interesting, but very discomforting at the same time. I think that's what they're trying to go for there, is discomfort, but I'm not very easily discomforted. Oh, and this guy, epic jump for no reason. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. I wanted to actually, I wanted to walk down the stairs. Hold on, let's do that again. All right, walk down the stairs. I mean, what is this? I understand that something hit the ground with an artillery or laser. But something to do this kind of damage? Just ridiculous. If this thing did this much damage, then it should have, like, made a shockwave that hurt you. Oh, yeah, key hint over here. You are going to get hurt in this next part. Don't worry, it's supposed to happen. Totally thought I died here. <laughs> Me and Jerry were like, oh, wait. We were supposed to do that. Oh, wait. Is there a collectible? Oh, I can't even go over there. Alright. Well, it's a pool table, bro. Let's play some pool. Yeah. Oh, you can you can actually... Wait. Yeah, you can slide. You can slide. Slide for victory. It's very hard to slide in cutscenes when you're not allowed to. Very, very, very difficult. Uh... Oh, fuck, fuck. You gotta sprint for this part. You're gonna get hurt. Oh, fuck, that's a truck. Shit. Saw my feet. Ouch. Oh. So, how is where we're going safer than where we were? If we could see the explosions to our front left. How was that a good idea, and how did that work? Clearly it didn't. I'm on the ground here. There's nothing saying that it worked. 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the mission. It's pretty easy. It doesn't really need a walkthrough, but I just thought I'd uh, introduce it to make sure I had it in the series and uh, I was all ready to go on that front. Um, not sure what ends, but it, I'm pretty sure this is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what kind of collectibles guide, uh, strategy guide. I really like the extinction mode. Survival is kind of crap, by the way, because um, the AI is just so fucking bad. They spawn behind you like nothing else. Like, not even kidding. You, if there's like uh, the five meters to your left, and you turn right to look uh, towards the door, five meters to the left, the guys will spawn because you're not looking there anymore. I mean, come on, Infinity Ward. I know you haven't done like AI. Like, uh, what's it called? Combat training before, but come on. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys. In